Welcome to part 2 of this 4 part tutorial of how a Magnets Media video is edited. Now the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here in my assets, I'm gonna look for grid. You see this grid? Yeah, I'm gonna place it there. I'm gonna apply an effect which is tint. So for tint, I'm going to swap. Now it is dark, but I need it to be red. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, let's reduce you a bit like that. Yeah, I guess that's better. The second part is, we're gonna have to use the shape tool. So now I'm going to just create this somehow like that. Put this in the center because I want it in the center. Okay, so let me extend this a bit. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna change the color to that to red. And then I'm gonna come here to the Nazi flag because I need this circle. So I'm gonna copy it with Ctrl and C. And then I'm gonna come back in Volkswagen and then paste it with Ctrl V. But remember, it is printed to this. So you see now it's moving together. I'm gonna come here and scale and then scale it a bunch. I guess seven will work. You know what? I don't like the rulers. Ctrl R. Yeah, get rid of them. Now what we're gonna do. You see, these are all the shapes. Let me call this the circle. And this is the rectangle. Yeah, let me call it just direct. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm going to get this one. You see, I'm gonna drag it at the bottom. Okay, so that the ones we've duplicated, they all come to the bottom. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to come back here and look for the Volkswagen first logo. So now I'm gonna bring it into my composition. It is black already, so I don't think we need to change the color of it. Then I'm going to resize it and scale it down. And now I'm going to duplicate the circle, bring it back. But this circle is blue, remember? You have to change it. We are going to duplicate this one below the rectangle as well. But now I want all these guys to be parented to the... You, I don't want you to do this. I want you to be parented to the rectangle because it's the second layer. Or maybe I could call it the Volks. So I'm going to call them Volks, all of them Volks, Volks, Volks. You know what, Volks rec? So correct. I'm going to get the bo both of these and then pre-compose them. And then just call this Volks flag. I also do this for, and I call this the Nazi flag. Okay, now this is done. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to double tap on this. I'm going to come here and uh, look for, okay, this is the size of the rectangle which we're going to have to use, okay? Now we're going to have to come here and then I'm going to say, 3.08 by 13.56. Uh, okay, so 13.56. Now, since everything is parented to this, come here on a line and put it like that. So after that, we're gonna increase the size of this because now this is literally what's controlling everything in this composition. So when you come back here, you see now it is just positioned in different positions, which you don't want. Start moving them, dragging them and positioning them where they're supposed to be. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, an effect. So the effect we're going to use for these flags, first of all, I'm gonna, just going to have to go to this one first. And then I'm going to click our shortcut I told you about. And then I'm going to type wave wrap. So wave wrap is what you're going to use here. We're going to leave wave type to sign the height on 10. And we're going to change the width to 300. For the direction, we're going to say 550 rather. For the phase, it is going to be 92192. And then this one is going to be on high. So now we're going to copy this and paste it on the second one. So I'm going to drag these two and then bring them here. Switch them off for now temporarily. I'll switch them back on later, but not now. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna come back on my project files and I'm gonna look for an image with people, a bunch of guys, I called it multiple people. So I'm gonna drag it and put it there, okay? So now I'm gonna put a fill effect on it. Yeah, leave it red because it's as default red. I'm going to scale it down a bunch and then put it somewhere here. And also after that, I'm going to get the logo. So this is the first logo. But this logo, it has to be white. So I'm going to make it white. Now I'm going to scale it down as well. There should be words down here. But then I'm going to first start with an arrow. Create a line like this. See, the way you're seeing it, it is a small line. And then I'm going to create a triangle. Something like this. But now I don't want to use the stroke. I want to have the fill on. So I'm going to get rid of the stroke and bring the fill. So I'm going to bring it here. And I'm going to rotate it. The rotation and I want it to be like 90 degrees cool so now I'm gonna drag it and put it at the end of this arrow so I'm gonna name this bar and then I name this arrowhead 
so now i'm going to apply this effect i'm gonna uh, click here and look for trim paths so for trim paths and i think it's gonna start at 13 11 so basically this thing starts at that time i'm gonna have this to be my starting point so i'm gonna bring this all the way to zero the final point it is gonna be at time 17 12. now my head it starts at zero okay now it starts from this point and then as it is moving it's gonna move along with it okay so now when i move to the uh final part is gonna be here so when we come here the arrowhead or even this for that case so we're gonna open opacity by pressing t and then i'm gonna bring everything down to zero so where this starts which is at uh 8 11 that's where everything gets back to 100 okay but i think this thing is too thin i could increase it a bit let's say this is five and increase this uh this one as well a bit to 110 yeah, I guess that makes more sense to me. So afterwards, here down, we're going to be getting our texts. So the first text is 5RM. This is the font I'm going to use, okay? But this has to be in capital letters. Now, this one as well has to be small, but the distance is brazy. So let's just reduce this distance. Let me make it to like zero or even more. Now, let's bring you down here. Let's center this. So now we need to animate it. We're gonna start with opacity. This opacity is gonna help us to make a typewriter effect. Yeah? We're gonna get it to zero. So now when we come here on range, we're gonna have the start to be that. And then uh, we're gonna make this to 100. Okay, now it's typing up. Inside here, the smoothness, I want it to be on 100%. So when you come here on advanced, you see the smoothness is on 100%. The second part is gonna be the position. So when we come back here, we open up our animate and then we're going to look for a position because it starts from below and then it comes up, okay? So we're going to put a keyframe there and then a keyframe also at the beginning, at the end rather, the Y axis. We're going to make it to 300. Yeah, I guess 300 would make sense to me. So we can do it like this, you see? You see, this is how it moves, you see? So we're going to make this like this, coming up from the bottom to the top. Okay, now let me make this easy ease. Yeah, this makes more sense to me. Now the second part is I'm going to duplicate this exact thing. You see, Ctrl D. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one a bit below. Okay, it's not going to be exactly where this other guy is. But the word is going to be weak. Spacing of the text, let me just put it on zero. But this there is a lot of space let's reduce it to something like uh i guess 40 will work okay so now let me reduce the size as well but i don't want these words to come one by one i want it to be like a whole word coming together at the same time so i'm gonna use this and then i come on this and then i'm going to instead of character i'm gonna say words okay so it just comes as a whole so something like this better yeah, that's better so what i'm gonna do i'm going to duplicate these two and then move them up here like that and drag them to this point now i'm going to make this uh five to nine nine zero but also i need some space in between you two this is gonna be four years four years and uh it's gonna be per character not like the previous one where it is the word so it's gonna be per character but they come at the same time which i don't want so now what i'm gonna do first is just offset them so when i bring it here it's 10 11 okay as magnet media is talking and then the words come based on the words he's saying all right that's why they're offset in time i'm gonna create a rectangle around this word okay all these groups of words gonna get rid of the fill and then apply a stroke but the stroke also has to be red okay let's reduce this a bit i want the words to be in the middle this shape doesn't just come like that it animates in i'm gonna come here and just add trim path so let me just cut it by cutting it i just use out and then these box brackets closing towards the right so now i'm going to come here on trim path i'm gonna put a keyframe there and then i just make it zero so this is gets up to 100 okay now but now i need to make it easy ease and come to the graph editor and then but i don't want it to go almost 
completely to rest as it's finishing so that's why i'm going to leave some allowance there okay now it is done so that's how it is so i'm gonna get my pen tool and just create a check here wait tick it's green zero zero five ff zero zero so i'm just using that green come here and then i just cut it from there and uh come in here inside here and just look for trim path for my trim path the starting point is going to be zero and uh, this is where the 100 thing gets to okay so now it's the same thing i want it to start very fast and then it ends slowly let's start fast and then we end slowly okay now that this one is done what i'm going to do next i'm going to come here and come to new and bring a now object you know remember the way i use now object i'm going to use it as a way to help me put everything where i want it to be so that's why i'm using the now object here now yeah, i guess i like to have them up there yeah the now object is gonna help me with that now i can get rid of it or maybe i need it i actually need two now objects so i've duplicated it this is going to be the wiggle wiggle null and then this is going to be the controller controller okay so that's the controller null now we're gonna make every friggin thing here 3d so there you go so everything is friggin 3d but now the first thing is going the first thing is going to be um i'm going to get all these and then highlight everything like this let me just i hold the first one and then i hold shift and then tap on the last one so when I do that, I'm going to parent everything to the now object. So this is going to be like the controller. It's going to control everything. And also, the second thing, we're going to use this null object. So this null object or the wiggle, this wiggle null, it is going to also be parented to this controller. The reason why I'm doing that is that I want it to be shaky. So it's going to be like wiggling. This is going to be 3D, but this is not going to be 3D because I want it to wiggle left, right or up you understand i don't want it to be wiggling in the z space and now i'm gonna come here and just press p which is for the position and then i'm gonna hold alt and press on this stopwatch so it is gonna open up uh, this space for for writing the expressions so the expression which i'm gonna add here is gonna be wiggle i'm gonna put these brackets and then i'm gonna put one for frequency and then five to be the amplitude the distance it takes okay okay it's gonna be shaking a bit we're gonna come here on controller our controller and then we are going to just put a keyframe for position okay p and then we're gonna move it slightly backwards and then i'm going to move it up to the point let's say i want it to be moving forward okay i want it to move up okay like it's going to move everything which is selected here it's going to be moved up to reveal something below here Okay, we haven't yet made the thing below there, but we'll do it later. So we're going to use this one, you understand? So the Y, like that. So as it is moving up, you have to make sure that everything just gets, like, everything gets moved up. Plus the grid as well, because in the second part, the grid is not there. And you will see the way we get rid of it completely, because at the moment it's still there. 17.7, we can come here on the grid, and then we just set transparency to be at 100. And then when we go up to the point where where it's 19 we can just set it to zero and now now that the grid is no longer there we can cut it off so let's go to the point where it starts moving so now i'm going to look for the members because the members have to be duplicated and then i'm going to duplicate the members and then i'm going to break the contact or the connection so now for this i'm going to move it down here you know what i think it it would make even more sense if i even change the color yeah, for me to understand which one it is let me bring it to exactly where the, this keyframe is at but these keyframes i think it is better to just have them like moving fast so like that okay so now we're gonna look for the yellow one we've created i'm going to you know i have this this line already here so what i'm gonna do i'm going to make this thing big you know like i'm gonna drag it here yeah that's better and i'm gonna duplicate it and move it the other side as well okay but the distance from the plus part you see this middle point has to be the same I want things to be well aligned okay that's better now I'm gonna duplicate the two okay I'm gonna duplicate this one 
and I'm just going to scale it down also yeah let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go if they're too big we can find you can create a null object and reduce them but I think this is better so now below here I'm going to add another text let's say it is going to be 300,000 Germanies Germans okay somewhere like that but now these two um, let me bring this one and make him stand close to his brothers I'm gonna duplicate you know this foyer thing I'm gonna duplicate it yes when I duplicate it like this I'm gonna also drag it down here and then I'm gonna also bring it somewhere like this I'm gonna make everything for the next line yellow cool so when I come back here on the controller and I oh wait 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 this four we've just duplicated it has to be unlinked so now when I tap here everything moves this is the best point to link these ones because now as this these guys move down these ones will go uh, go lower you understand so I'm linking it later now it was supposed to be linked as well with the other guys but now the fact that I want them to be below that's why I'm linking them later so now I'm going to get that pick whip because now that I've selected everything that one pick whip will represent the rest of the guys you get okay now let me come to the controller now the controller is what I'm gonna use so now you see when I move this one down you see these guys go down okay but now this guy he needs to be here but now since he's a 3d object let me first relieve him of his 3d duties now uh, there is a word which is signed up okay now this is going to be made green as well so I'm gonna use the actual green hex codes the 00ff00 so that's how it is I'm gonna bring you here so that's where you start and then it ends at there you go so it comes from the bottom and then it animates in okay that's pretty much it for scene 2 okay we'll add motion blur later but for now I think that's all we have for scene 2 now that we are done with scene 2 I think we could come back here remember this and we can switch these guys back on so now I'm gonna click on the top layer and then scroll down to the bottom layer which is the flags and then I'm going to pre-compose it and then call it scene 2 oh I use Romans great perfect